Welcome to MiniOrange. MiniOrange provides single sign-on solutions for Confluence, and as we know, that it is the best SAML SSO solution available in the market. So, in this video we are going to set up Confluence single sign-on with ADFS using SAML protocol. Let's get started with the setup. Go to your MiniOrange single sign-on plugin. You can navigate the plugin by clicking on Take a Tour of the Add-on. Now let's proceed with the configuration. Click on Add New IDP. You can select Manual Setup Flow, which gives you access to all the various setup options that we provide to add a SAML identity provider. If you want to configure your IDP setup from the get-go, you can use Quick Setup Flow which we will be covering in this video. Select Microsoft ADFS as an IDP. In the Service Provider Metadata window you can view the setup guide of the plugin. Here you know get step-by-step -step instructions. So firstly we are configuring the ADFS as an IDP. Open the ADFS management. Select Relying Party Trust and then click on Add Relying Party Trust. In the appeared window, select Claims Aware and click on Start. Select the options for adding a Relying Party Trust. You can import the Relying Party data in three ways. Using Metadata URL using metadata XML file and using manual configuration. Now I have select using manual configuration and click on next. Enter the display name and click on next. For the token encryption certificates, go back to the plugin. Select manually configuring the metadata on your IDP. Then click on download to get the certificate. Go back to a DFS system and upload the certificates by clicking on browse. Upload the certificates and click on Next. Select Enable Support for the SAML 2.0 Web SSO Protocol. For the service URL, go back to MiniOrange plugin and copy the ACS URL and paste it in the given field and click on Next. For Relying Party Trust Identifier, copy SP Entity ID and paste it in the given field. Then click on Add button. As we can see the identifier is added. And then click on Next. Select Permit Everyone as an Access Control Policy. And click on Next. Click on the Next button from Ready to Add Trust. Party Trust is successfully added. And click on Close. Navigate to Edit Claim Issuance Policy. Click on the Add Rule button. And select Single LDAP Attributes as Claims and click on Next. Now, enter the claim rule name of your choice. Select Attribute Store as Active Directory. Then for LDAP Attributes, click on the drop-down and select User Principal Name. And, for Outgoing Claim Types select Name ID. Let us configure one more attribute, which is, Display Name. In the Outgoing Claim, select Name. Then click on Finish. Now, click on Apply to complete the configuration. Select your application and click on Properties. In the Property tab click on Signature. Then click on Add. And upload the certificates which we have downloaded from the plugin. Now click on Apply and click on OK. Your application configured successfully. Now let's set up Confluence as a service provider. Go to the Service Provider Metadata window in the plugin and click on Proceed. Here, if you want you can customize the name of your IDP by clicking on Yes. We will select No from the drop-down. You will find three ways to configure IDP. Metadata URL, Metadata File or Manual Setup. We will configure the IDP using Metadata File. For Metadata File, open Incognito window, enter the URL and the Metadata File will be downloaded. Choose the metadata file which we have already downloaded. Then click on the save. You can see SAML setting updated message. Then copy the test and get attributes URL. Go to the browser and paste copy of URL in the plugin. And press enter. Login with your ADFS credentials. Here you can see successful test configuration here. Along with name ID and name. You can scroll down to check SAML request and SAML response. Go back to the plugin and click on Proceed. In the User Profile section you can map the User Profile attributes. 
While configuring attribute statements in ADFS applications you have configured name ID with user email. Scroll down and select full name attribute as a display name. And click on save and proceed. From this drop down, configure the default group that will be used grant application access to the user. If now group is not, then users added by default for the Confluence software users group. And from this drop down, you can choose which users will be assigned to the default groups. Then click on save and proceed. And click on finish. Your IDP is successfully configured. Now, whenever user will try to access the Confluence page, he will be redirect to a DFS after some time. That is the user will be first to log in by a DFS SSO. Click on I understand. If you want to change behavior and show both the Confluence login and a DFS SSO button dot then click on sign in settings. Now click on auto redirect to IDP option disabling. Scroll down and click on save. Setting has been saved successfully. Now, navigate the configured IDPIS step for the left menu. You will find all the configured IDPIS here. You can view, test, edit or delete your configuration gear. You can enable or disable SSO for a DFS IDP. After successful test connection you will get CSSO button on the Confluence login page now. Click on Use Corporate Login button. Here you will be redirect to ADFS login page. Login with your ADFS credentials. You will be successfully logged in Confluence dashboard. Go to User Profile to check the user data. And you can see the user full name and email ID here. Manyrange provides best single sign-on solutions. Thanks for watching.